uh, Mark Martin, uh, who's been tracking this space very closely. He's the CEO of Martin Consulting as well, joins in. Mark, good morning and good to have you on the show. You know, this is something that Rakesh Gangwal had indicated earlier that he would sell his entire holding over a period of five years. So it doesn't come as too much of a surprise. Uh, but your own thoughts on how to approach this? Morning, Sonia. Thanks for having me today. Uh, I think this is, you know, apart from this uh, sending the price of the stock all crazy and haywire, uh, clearly Manav is, sorry, clearly uh, Rakesh is testing the waters with the the stake he has. Now, you know, 2.5 or 2.8% that's been reported is a, 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 it's a wafer thin stake of the in excess 35% plus uh, holding he has in Indigo. So he's clearly testing the waters to see what he could get. Um, I, I think, uh, um, I don't think this is going to create much of a dent with Indigo from a management operations and oversight perspective. Uh, you know, uh, Mr. Gangwal is a very smart, astute, uh, uh, and a shrewd investor. So, I mean, this is more strategic, and I don't think we should be reading too much in the, too much between the lines. Overall, on the business itself, how do you see things, Mark? Because, you know, clearly things are picking up, right? Uh, travel is back. Crude oil prices have fallen substantially. And Indigo has been doing much better than its peers. But there's a lot of competition at the same time. Uh, what's your view on how things could move from here? Correct. I, I think Indigo uh, is, uh, you know, the most important thing for them would be to write off the losses they've had over the last three years. Uh, they've got an uphill task with their whole game plan. Uh, Indigo needs to now look and focus more with expanding globally as opposed to increasing any further more flights in India because they're already quite saturated in the domestic market. And the domestic market, I think, is where we know you are exposing yourself to higher amount of risk. Uh, you are exposing yourself to competition. But when you're uh, when you have you know 290 plus aircraft and you are you know at pole position with market share, you're not going to worry too much about the competition creating a dent uh, in terms of your market exposure or your product offering. But let's not forget. Air India at the moment is creating a monster in the basement and a fully rejuvenated, revitalized and revived Air India in 24 months is going to create a dent with everybody. At the moment, it becomes very strategic for uh, Indigo to look at global expansion because they've expanded enough in India and uh, reaching out to a wider global Indian diaspora is key. Um, on uh, Separately, I must also point out that um, Air India uh, will at some point in, in the next 36 months also look at coming up with an IPO because they will look at phase two, phase three funding as part of the growth strategy. So clearly interesting times and something which, uh, uh, you know, I think every investor should keep an eye out for aviation stock coming up. Uh, Mark, uh, just to go back to that earlier point of Mr. Gangwal selling the stake, you said it's test waters, which basically you're implying that there is, uh, once this goes through, there is going to be, uh, you know, more to come. Uh, a steady stream Hi, of more blocks? Hi, morning. Yes, I think, uh, uh, you know, 2.5 or 2.8% uh, uh, is a very, very thin stake. And uh, I'd be worried and surprised and I'll be up, uh, I would be more, uh, you know, aligned and tuned into a crisis if we're selling a 20 to 25% plus. So this is just to look at, you know, what can he fetch in the market? from uh, an overall interest level. And I don't think he'd want to do anything to jeopardize Indigo's position, um, uh, irrespective of his exit being tumultuous. Uh, Gangwal isn't the kind of guy who would be vindictive and want to uh, you know, cause any harm to Indigo, an airline that he helped start and create himself. So um, I don't think we need to, I don't think it's fair that we uh, start looking at, at a panic phase here. But, but what I would like to say is that there would be more stake sales coming up and um, this should be, uh, and I, I, would, I would much uh, believe that he would look at offloading this to, to larger financial institutions and, you know, um, and fund managers in particular. Got it, Mark. Thanks a lot for joining us today. That's... Uh... Indigo down about 